Hey guys, it's Monday. Um, just getting home from work. Worked, worked from the weekend. Uh, Saturday I tried to get a bit up because we got the stringers bedded in here. Both sides. Um, <clears throat> you can see the glass is in. Everything's there. The cat strands are hanging out. So we got to do a big, big, big grind. Actually, not that bad. We get very most of that bondo up there. Um, and just knock these, anything that's going to leave an air gap, get rid of that. This side's done. One thing I wanted to point out again, you remember that when I took this boat apart, there was that giant layup of air right in there. That's all peanut butter in there now. So that's done. Also, when you're doing this, just... Fill every look. You see the stringer? There's nowhere that I'm gonna do a grind. There's nowhere that there's gonna be air in there. It's all been filleted out. A little bit of grinding because we used a lot of cat strand in that because we got structure. Uh, you can see the bottom there. There's no air gaps anywhere. Uh, so this one's ready for a good grind, and I'm kind of waiting for a little bit of rain or some moist weather. Looks like it's coming. Um, everything's tarped up, but I want to grind. I don't want to piss the neighbor off. He's been on my ass, so we're gonna grind all that out. We're gonna. This is where we take out all of our, all of our plugs, our uh, pieces like this one. You guys remember when I took that out of there? That was right there. So we're gonna grind that out until this thing fits perfect in its same spot. We're not going to put it back in there, but then we just know that we have enough room for the oil filter. Um, same thing up here for these fuel lines. We'll have to get the saws all and get the tank in here and get that mocked up. So I think before I do that, I'll probably finish flood coating in here. Uh, we got a bulkhead to go in here, which means more grinding. So I've been saving that for when we do the grinding of all this. And then, uh, yeah. Most important is we all got full-time jobs, hopefully still, and uh, you guys can do this. This is uh, when I started this project. Sorry about not uploading a lot more vids, but when I started this project, I was uh, we were the COVID crisis had happened. But the important thing is to remember that you can actually do this and work a full-time job and still get this kind of stuff done. And then you get a brand new boat, yeah. or you can do it to make money, or you can do it for whatever. I'm just happy we got this guy now, and we put a barbecue on it, so we're all good. Plus the dirty or we'll get that one in the water. Anyway, there's your update, guys. Uh, we'll get back at this pretty quick. I'm not going to shoot any videos while I'm grinding because it's the same old thing. When I start the layups, I will. I've already cut all the tabbing for this whole thing, plus all the layup that goes on top of it. Um, and when I get to that, I'll show you that 1708, or I think it's called New Tech up here, the boys at uh, Industrial Plastics and Paints there. Guys in Anaya will go see them. They got everything you need. This is where I get all my stuff. If you're going to do a big project, they'll give you a bit of a discount. So that's kind of nice. Everybody likes getting stuff for cheaper. But yeah, that's it, boys. Have a good night.